going on guys welcome back to the channel you may recognize this programming card here very popular programming card i use it easy to set up your escs with it i'm sure if you don't have one of these you've seen them around well today we're going to be taking a look at the version 2 of this model this is the surpass hobby led programming card the version 2 now this one we'll bring it back in it's got all your necessary options you need, all the functions that you can uh, set on it. Low voltage cutoff, start modes, max brake force, max reverse force, and neutral range are all able to be programmed with this card. Well, this one here, the new version 2, actually offers quite a bit more. So, same low voltage cutoff, start mode, max brake force, max reverse force, neutral range. Now we've got motor overheat protection, ESC overheat protection, and running mode, as well as drag brake force. So there's a lot of options, a lot of things that you can do with this little programming card that you're not necessarily able to do with this one. So not a bad card, but the price difference on these guys is only like three bucks. So if this one uh, works out good here today, I would suggest definitely having a look considering this one if you're in the market for a programming card. So I've got a brand new 60 amp ESC set up here. This programming card will do 25, 35, 45, 60, 80, 120, and 150 amp ESCs according to what I'm seeing on the advertisement. So let's plug it in here on the top. Right there is your uh, input so you no longer have a little uh, pigtail lead off it here. You just plug it directly in and it's labeled here your signal positive and negative. So your negative is going to go to the far right. We'll plug that in. There we go. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to switch up the camera. We'll zoom in on the ESC here so we can have a better look at it while I'm messing around with it. All right, guys, before we fire up the ESC and have a look at the programming card, I do want to show it came with the user manual. You got Chinese on one side, English on the other side. We'll just take a quick look here, showing you how to set up the ESC and stuff to use programming card. You have some ESC specs right there and your programming card programming uh, functions are all listed on the right hand side right there. So if you're grabbing one of these for yourself, have a look at the manual. It'll definitely be uh, helpful. So we'll put that aside. Let's fire up this ESC here. I did switch out the battery so I could prop up the, the programming card here hopefully to have a little bit better view of it. So let's fire this up. There we go and you can see bright red LED light there on the screen. Now it's just scrolling through, doing startup mode right now. Scrolling through the items and there we go. Item one, value one. So you're going to notice here we've got four buttons underneath where it says program card. We've got an item button which corresponds with the numbers under item here. We've got a value button which corresponds with the value number right here. An OK and a reset button. So all the necessary uh, programming functions that can be done with this uh, programming card are listed below here. I'm going to see if I can find a picture as well, put it up on the screen so that you guys can have a better look at what I'm talking about here. So right now, item one, which is labeled low voltage cutoff, is set at value one, which is 3.1 volts slow. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is we have different uh, voltage levels here 3.1 volt 2.7 3.4 2.9 but you also have slow and stop so you're able to set this up to either now i'm going to leave it at 3.1 volts slow so when we get to that voltage uh, level at 3.1 volts the rc slows right down and that's notifying you that uh, you need to switch out that battery but you could also set it up at 3.1 volts stop so when that rc gets to that level it's just going to cut out and stop so for myself it's set up perfect right now you also have a disabled uh, feature there i wouldn't do that it's not recommended that you uh, disable uh, your uh, voltage cut off and trust me you don't want to wreck your batteries so definitely nice to uh, to keep it uh, somewhat low for voltage here like well i'm leaving it at 3.1 volts that's kind of your uh your typical voltage if we looked at our old uh, version one of the programming card here 3.1 volts was the highest setting we do have 3.4 volts on here but I find 3.1 is kind of a uh, right at the sweet spot in my opinion but if I did want to change that we would just hit that value button and just scroll through to the number that corresponds where it's listed on the card here 
we're gonna leave it at one. I could hit okay. It's already programmed in there, so it won't do anything. But if we were to switch that, say to second value, which would be 2.9 volts slow, hit okay. You're gonna see the value changes to zero and then it switches to two. But we're gonna go back to one, hit okay, and there we go. So that's programmed in to that ESC now. So start mode, and in brackets it says punch. So this is, uh, in my opinion, one of the two most important settings for myself to get right. I find too much punch. I'm very heavy on the trigger, very he heavy on the throttle. Too much punch usually results with me uh, wiping out right away, so that's no fun. So I'm looking on here. First, we're going to have to hit item, item two, which is our start mode. Make sure we're on the proper mode here. And uh, we've got level three, level one, level six, level two, level four, level five. Pretty sure the way it works is it's reading from left to right and then down to the next line after that from left to right. So right now from factory, it is set at value one, which would be level three, right in the middle. We've got six levels here. So for myself, I think um, even level three is a little bit high. We're gonna drop it down to level two, which should, uh, I believe is gonna give us just a little bit less of a punch. So that would be, counting it out here, that'll be value number four. That hit okay. There we go, that's programmed in, pretty easy. So now we're gonna drop down to the next item, item three. Item three is our max brake force. So this is, the other thing that in my opinion is very important if you're I find those brakes are too heavy too aggressive you're typically gonna at least I do is wipe out as well so what I'm gonna set up from factory it's set up at 50% is value 1 value 2 is 25% that's where I'll set it value 3 is 75 value 4 is 100% and value 5 would disable it now you're gonna notice and I'll scroll through here we're gonna go through the values and you're gonna notice it's gonna go all the way up to nine, but we only have five options, right? It's just the way it is. Even though you only have five settings, it will go through the nine. So we were gonna set it up at number two for a max break force, which is 25%. There we go, that's inputted now. Now, number four here is your max reverse force. So we're gonna drop down to item four it's set on one and the value on value one, which is 25%, which is perfect for me, but you can set it up for value two, which is 50, value three, 75, or value four, 100% reverse force. 25 is perfect in my opinion. If I did want to switch it, we would just switch it again to whatever value corresponds with what's on the programming card, hit okay, and that'll set it in. But I'm gonna switch it back to one. You're gonna notice again, it's gonna go all the way through to nine before we get back down to one, even though it only has four, four options. So one, okay, there we're set. Now we're gonna head down to item five. Item five is the bottom on the left-hand side here, your neutral range. Now your neutral range is listed narrow, normal, and wide, or 9%, 6%, 12%. So right now from the factory, it's listed at narrow, which is probably the best setting that I'm gonna leave it on, but we could switch it through to either normal or wide with the same procedure I just showed you by scrolling through the values by hitting the value button and then hitting okay. So next thing on here, item six is your motor overheat protection. So again, this has got this nice setup to where either the ESC will stop or it will slow down. So. You may get confused, in my opinion. I like having the low voltage when it's low to uh, to be slow, right? So your RC slows right down. But um, I think for myself, overheat protection, I would probably want the RC to stop. And that'll kind of give me a cue that there's something, something wrong either with the motor or the ESC. And at that point, I would check, this, you know, check the temperature by feeling it or getting my hand close to it. So right now it's on value one from factory, which is 120 degrees Celsius stop. So you could also set up 135 stop, 150 stop, 120 slow, 135 slow, 150 slow, or disabled. So we've got seven options there. 
I am going to leave it on value number one, which is 120 degrees Celsius stop. Especially right now, winter time here in Canada, if I'm getting out with this RC, I'm not going to really worry about it overheating. Now in the summertime, we may want to uh, bump that up a little bit, maybe the 135 stop, but uh, for right now, we'll leave it at the 120. So we're going to scroll through to the next item, item seven, which is ESC overheat protection. So as I just mentioned, it's basically the same. There's a few different temperatures on here. 105 stop, 95 stop, 105 slow, 95 slow. So right now we're set up at 105 stop. That's exactly where I'm gonna leave it. And we could also disable that as well as we could disable the overheat protection. Probably not recommended guys. I uh, don't even think that should be an option in my opinion to be able to disable those uh, those features but it's in here so I'm mentioning it so again we're gonna leave that right where it is we're gonna leave item 7 which is ESC overheat protection at value 1 105 degrees Celsius stop all right so we're gonna go down to the next item item 8 running mode so the running mode on here I'm trying to look at is pretty small from where I'm looking at we've got value 1 which would be forward reverse brake value 2 is going to be forward brake Value three is going to be forward reverse. And it looks like we've only got the one, two, three. No, it looks like we got. Yeah, so we've got three options, guys. They're just showing below here, which confused me a bit. They're just telling us FWD is forward, BRK is brake, and REV is reverse. So this is kind of nice guys the running mode similar to like a Traxxas ESC to where you can set it up like this I believe now I'm not uh, I don't race my RC's in any events but I do believe if I'm not mistaken that uh, some of these races do not allow you to have a reverse or don't allow you to have a break one or the other I, I believe it's I think it's a reverse but it, it may be not allow you to have a break e regardless you're able to to take that and I believe it is a brake you're not allowed to have so you're able to disable that brake function right from the running mode here on option 9 I'll leave it right where it is forward reverse brake because that's what I'm used to that's normal but um, yeah it's uh, if you're racing your RC and you're setting up your ESC like this you uh, and your the event you're in does not allow you to have a brake then easy enough you can just uh, just program that brake function completely out of there so and correct me guys if I'm wrong I believe I'm correct but uh, I know a lot of you guys who watch channel here are definitely into racing and I'd love to uh, get the proper information there but regardless you're able to uh, to use item number nine in their running mode to uh, switch things up very similar to a Traxxas CSC now item number nine so let's drop down to item number nine which is your drag brake force now it's set up at 0%, but you can also switch that to 5%, 10%, 20%, 30%. I'll be leaving that at 0% right where it's at, but if you wanted to switch it, you would just use the same procedure I showed you guys. We would just hit that value button right there and scroll through. So we could set that up right now. I'm on four, which would be 20% and I could hit okay. And there we go. That is now programmed in. I'm going to switch that back up to 0% which would be value number one, okay. And that's it guys. All right guys, we just cut the power to the ESC and unplugged the programming card so we didn't have to hear that fan anymore. The version two of the Surpass Hobby programming card here though guys, this thing is awesome. Compared to the version one, it's a no brainer. You're gonna want this one. So many more options to uh, adjust stuff on your uh, RC than you got with this one. And the price difference guys, I just looked it up. It's only like $3 price difference from this one to this one. So I would definitely recommend grabbing the version two. You guys wanna grab one of these for yourself. I will leave a link down below in the description. You like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.